Alright everyone, so for today, um, I'm going to be unboxing uh, two new, um, inflatables for 2021, four lows, I guess you can say also. Uh, this is one, uh, this is actually two reviews in one, so, uh, one of the inflatables is this jack-o'-lantern in the box, one and a half feet tall, it pops up and down, and, of course, just to see how they are, they are adorable pumpkin um, this t takes uh, double-a batteries I believe but I didn't buy some so I I guess I'll be using this my uh, tablet charger or for this because I don't I didn't buy batteries so yeah but um I'm going to play this one first and then that one so uh, let's just uh, bring this down And though my loaves did have Halloween stuff out, but most of the stuff were already sold out because a lot of people were buying it. There was only like two of these left. And uh, there's no 18 foot jacks, Dr. Finkelstein, or any other ones over there too. So that kind of sucks, but there was only like two left. So now because I got this one, there's only one left of my local Lowe's. Other than that, let's just open it up. Also, this is my first ever Halloween inflatable to have this box design because I mostly just get the license one, which that license one is the minions. I do have one small four foot cheap fan ghost that's from Walmart and does have this background box, but except that it has the display box instead of this. So, yeah, this is technically my first one. Anyways, enough of that. It costs uh, seventy dollars, I believe, or maybe I don't know. I don't remember. I'm an idiot. <laughs> um, the adorables uh, cost ten dollars. This one cost me ten dollars, but the uh, licensed ones, like the uh, Jack and the Mickey, um, those cost I believe twelve dollars. So yeah, but uh. Yeah, I believe this costs 70. Um, yes, yeah, 70, I believe. Anyways, here are the, uh, the stakes. Yeah, the adapter. I mean, the instructions. Oh, sorry about that. And here's the actual adapter. I, I just got confused. For some reason. This is the adapter. Also, this, this looks weird. Never like that. Hold on. Um,. That is the weirdest adapter I've ever seen. Okay, so this looks like a different adapter for some reason. Uh, I've never seen this. This looks weird. I think it's new, I don't know. People say that uh, this adapter was used for the, um, or specifically for the pop-up inflatables. So yeah, I don't know. That was also used last year, I believe. That's what people say. I don't know if it's true or not, because I never got any pop-ups from last year. I only had one pop-up inflatable, and that's a Christmas one from 2015. The sand popping out of the chimney. That's my little only pop-up and the animated inflatable. But this is my second one. So yeah. I've not opened this before, so yeah. Um, let's see how it is. So yeah, here's the, uh, the jack o' lantern. Right there. There's a sandbag in this kid. Is this supposed to have that? This is really a little sandbag in this head. Look at this. There's a sandbag in this head. I don't know if that's supposed to be there or not. I don't think it is. I'm going to pull it down. Um, this has two cheap fans. There's one uh, over here in the back. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, yep, yeah, here it is. Here's the, uh, the cheap fan. 
can't get it out. Is that one? There's another one on the pumpkin. The zipper is open. I feel like this is returned. I honestly feel like it was returned. But anyways, enough of that. Let's uh, inflate this. So I'm just going to unfold this even more. Because I can't do this in one hand. So I'll be back. Okay, so it turns out that the fan that I showed you was the fan for the uh, the guy inside. And the actual fan is uh, right there on the side. And not there. But yeah. Also, I just screwed in. This is what it looks like. It looks pretty weird, but that's that. Here's some Jack Lantern guy. Let's move this back a little. So here he is. Oh, this is the other side. So here he actually is. Um, this is a nice inflatable. I love it. Um, he pops up and down. This is way better than I expected. I'm honestly going to say that. Probably you've never seen an inflatable like that. He's also kind of noisy whenever he pops up. But yeah. This is Jack on in the box. He pops up. There he is. Jack o' lantern guy, there's his body. There's his side. There's one LED in his head. Near his back. There's a one cheap one. And then there's that right there. If you kinda look at it, the side kinda looks like a chair. Or it isn't a chair. It's just a box. And then here's his little handle. Would have been way more better if it actually spun and spinned. But yeah, that's him. Uh, he's uh, he's pretty cool. I really recommend him. Although you should probably like, get him in a discount because I mean, so many bucks is kind of overpriced, but it's still a pretty uh, pretty good inflatable. He also makes, he's a, uh, I don't know what I was about to say, <laughs> there's uh, I believe two LEDs there, that's what I see, so there's probably like three LEDs in this thing, which is not a lot, but it's always something. Anyways, he's uh, pretty cool, you can get him in Lowe's right now, every single Lowe's I believe has their uh, Halloween stuff out. So, you can get them now if you want. But anyways, enough of that one. Let's uh, unbox the air, air doorbell. So, I'm going to go in this table, obviously, because... And I'll set them over over there. So, there's the thing I'm going to use. See if it actually fits in. And, uh... There we go. Open this one hand. <laughs> All right. Uh, here we go. Here's the thing uh, for the batteries. And also, sorry for that. It makes too much noise. But yeah, here's the thing for the batteries. It takes four double A's, which is a lot. But yeah, I'll buy double A's later for this. And uh, the instructions. The instructions are freaking tiny, so the size of almost my hand. But yeah. And here's the inflatable, which surprisingly has no stakes or a bag. So, yeah, this is totally my thing. And there's some of the Very small. Okay, yeah, this is 
extremely small. Look at, the, look at the size of this cheap thing. That's like this is how big the box is, and that's how small this cheap phone is. Uh, hold on, let me just uh, take the stand out and the tablet. To, like un like, um unscrew the little thing for his wire. So yeah, I'm gonna take a little. It does fit, so that's nice. I guess this is how little small he is. It's probably like the size. Yeah, he's the size of his head. And I'll just plug this in. People say it's sometimes noisy or it's sometimes really quiet. Let's put this ass actually. There's this douchebag. Sorry, he makes way too much noise. But yeah. Battery is very, very small. Very small. Way smaller than this guy. So here he is. Oh, I thought he died. Yeah, there he is. Very small. There's his little hat. It's kind of crooked. If you look at it, the hat's kind of crooked. Look his face. There he is. That thing is so loud. Anyway, so here's the uh, back of him. It makes a squeaky noise, literally, when you squeeze it. No LED lights, which really sucks. He has no LED lights. So, yeah, this thing is just really small and this thing is four and a half feet tall so there's a comparison oh let me actually do a co actual comparison there's how tall the jack o' lantern in the box is compared to the pumpkin adorable pretty uh, pretty tiny so, yeah but uh, I think that's it for this review. There's nothing else I want to do. Very weird that I did a double review, but yeah. Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. And I guess I'll make a video soon. And I'll see you guys soon then. Bye. Okay, guys, I'm back. And uh, I accidentally said in the last clip that uh, that was the end of the review. Well, yeah, that was a lie. But. We're actually gonna end this off in this clip, I guess, whatever. But first, I just wanted to show what the stuff look like in the door. Well, that stuff is just one thing, which is this jack o' lantern in the box. The adorable does not have any lights, actually. You look at it over here, that is no light at all, just a sandbag. And, uh, Practically, yeah. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off the lights and show you what it looks like. So, with the LED lights, you can see uh, what it says, although with the time for a coffin break one, it does not show any of uh, the text at all because it's only 1C7, like it should have like 3 in them or something. But with the LED lights, uh, it does show jack o' lantern on the box. Two LED lights instead of one. There's the jack o' lantern. There are no lights on the, uh, the lid of the uh, jack o' lantern box. Or the jack o' box. The little top part. But yeah, that's him. In the dark, here's the side. About to pop down. There you go. There's this one. Here's the back. Can't see that much. There's 
the Pioneer Global. I don't really care about that. He also makes a loud noise when he pops up. But, yeah. So yeah, just one more shot of him popping into the dark. And I guess I'll turn back the lights on. Turn the lights back on, I guess. Yeah, here he goes. I'll sit down here so you can see him clearly. That's him. Jack o' lantern in the box and the adorable. Which has no lights at all. It's just a, like a little decoration for your table or something like that, supposedly. Um so yeah, do I recommend it? Uh yeah, but I mean San Angeles is kind of a lot for this. It should be like forty or fifty. Maybe even sixty, but like seventy is a little too much. So yeah. But uh, it's still pretty cool and playable. I was uh, I was going to do a comparison uh, with the uh, Minion Stewart with Devil as a Devil costume, but uh, maybe not. I might do it another day. I don't know. But yeah, these are the two new 2021 inflatables: Jack Lantern in the box and the uh, Pumpkin are adorable. Also, this uh, comes with six stakes and four tether loops, I believe. Uh, I think it has a medium sized sheep fan and a, uh, a large sheep fan for the pumpkin. I'm not sure, I didn't check. So, yeah. But, uh, also, just to know, uh, I don't know why, but. Oh. I was gonna say that the, the pumpkin guy over here. He inflates very tight whenever he pops up. I know he's not going to play tight because you know, he's losing air to pop down. Uh, the box is pretty decent, I guess you can say. But I'll show you about the pumpkin guy when he pops up right now. So yeah, this guy inflates pretty tight actually. So yeah, he inflates pretty tight. The box is decent, but the guy, whenever he inflates back up, he inflates pretty tight. The steam, um, it doesn't inflate that much. It's supposed to be in the back, but it's like that for some reason. But yeah, that's him. I'm just gonna give, give you a quick view on the sides so from popping up. So yeah, that's him and your adorable pumpkin. Also, I finally put uh, batteries in it. So yeah. But anyways, that's gonna actually wrap it up for the day. And uh, I guess um, I'll try to get another one inflatable. Maybe a cheap one, a small one. I don't know. Um. So yeah, that's it. I guess. I guess I'll see you guys next time for real. Um. Uh,